Welcome to my channel, Playing With Moza Ready. I'm going to be doing a DIY project. It's not really a DIY project. It's more of a setup of the books of the Bible. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So what you see here, so let's begin. So what you see here is a few books of the Bible. I kind of ran out of the colorful boxes. So I had to write down the last of what I needed. So let me go into my faith planner, which is, I gotta do an updated video of this planner here and show you everything that I'm, all the planners that are in here, it's crazy. So I'm going to have it in the beginning of here. So right where the first page is, which is glory to God, I'm going to put it here. So when I need to reference books of the Bible, I'll have names of, you know, of God and things like that, names, and a lot of other inserts that I'm pulling from other places to put in here. So this is gonna get chunkier and chunkier, but I love the black discs if they had black metal i'd probably use that but an expander disc but i like how this looks and it looks really nice but it's not about this it's about where it's going so i'm gonna move this out the way and i have this already set up it says books of the bible i have two sheets because i'm thinking of tipping in like another sheet so I may have to cut off this. I'm not sure yet. So we're going to start with the Old Testament, which begins with Genesis, right? So we're going to start off. Uh, and my writing is not the best. So I'm just going to go like this. Test for now, and you'll know exactly what it means. Oh, yeah, see, my writing is not the best. So I want to open this up and what I'm going to do is just make the page kind of pretty and then put kind of the books in order. I'm hoping it works out like that with a little check mark. So every book that I read, because I want to do the Bible of the year, the Bible in one year, every book I read, I'm going to have a check mark have the book and probably the start date and the end date so I know exactly did I make it within a year so first let's start with the pretty sticker and of course I should have did this first like that so should I just get another sheet because I'm not really fond of the purple once I'm looking at it you know what? We're going to grab another sheet. I am not too fond of that purple. Even though, I mean, it could be one of my colors. But I'm, I'm a black and white person. Like, I love black and white. I like color, don't get me wrong. But black and white is just so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. That looks just so pretty together. And then look at how this looks. Together. Just black and white. So, yeah. So, let's move this out the way. I'm going to definitely need two sheets anyway. Okay. So we're going to start off with the book. Most definitely. And I kind of like where I had the idea of putting it right in this corner. Just like that. And I put books and yes, my writing is not the best of the Bible. Okay, and then we'll go here with Old Test. And then you'll know exactly what it is. Okay, so with that being said, let's I'm gonna, like bring this a little bit bigger. I don't know if I want to put the church maybe down here. I was thinking in the middle, but then I can scatter it. 
yeah, I think in the middle, so I can scatter the books. And I have them in order. I just got to remember to put them in order. So I'm thinking here. What is crazy is the other books are in silver. So I really don't mind gold and silver together. The first page will definitely be gold, obviously. And then we'll work on the silver part. So I'm thinking maybe this... Uh, we'll see what happens. So this can get moved. Okay, let's start this. I'm going to start a few and then I'll come back and show you. So I don't really need a big checklist, I guess. So I'm going to do a few here, go up, down, and then over. Well, actually, no, I'm going to do probably two columns because I do want the start date and the end date. Or I might do the start date and the end date underneath. Okay, yes. Start date and end date underneath. I am so all over the place right now. So excited. I'm trying to go in like a order that it will look right. So let me get the ruler. Oh my gosh, where's my ruler? Oh, I see it. I was already getting nervous here. Okay, so I want to do like. So, what I'm going to do is do the ruler first. Just so I know that it's straight. Because you know me. I cannot put a sticker straight. Okay. And I know I'll probably mess up on a couple with the straightness. But that won't be my fault. Yes, I will, but whatever. See? Just like that. And I'll probably need more than just two pages. So I'm going to go like this. I think will be easier. And I know it looks sideways. So I know that. So what I'm going to do is one here. A dot there. There's one. Okay. This is harder than I thought. Because it is lined. But these boxes are... I don't know. I just feel nervous. But do you get the idea of what I'm doing? Is what I'm hoping... One, two, skip. One right here. So it's three, four, five. Three, four, five right here. So what's good about this though is it has dots for the line. So you can count in how many. Do you see how cute that's starting to look? One, two, three. We got three. Four, five, right? Nope. Four. See, I told you I'd mess up. I really wouldn't care if it was a little crooked, though, to be honest with you. But this is what I am looking for. As far as my faith is concerned, I want to grow. What I should have did was the word grow. One, two, three, four, five. That should be five. That's what my word of the year should be. So maybe next year I'll do that. This year I just want to go fearless. It matches my planner. And it was like... It was like a no-brainer. Okay, so I feel like I'm going a little crooked, but that's okay. The little things I'll do later. I don't want to hold you up too much. Three, four, five. Oh, I could use the outline 
Ooh, I might just cut the, for the last ones, I might just cut this and then just use the outline. Because basically that's what this is, right? It's an outline of what I'm looking at. Three, four, five. So as you see how it's coming along. And I'm going to do the same thing for, I think it's the names of the, I don't know how you pronounce it. Like, I don't know how you would say it, but yeah, names of the gods. And again, I'm a baby Christian, so don't come for me. So next is going to be the next row, and then I'll pause it, and then bring you back when you see the whole page full. You'll get the idea, and then I'll do it again. Because basically all I need is... Make sure I get this right. Yeah. So I'm trying to make a third column. So let's make sure we have enough room. Nope. Let me bring this in. Because that's why I'm trying to see if I have enough room. Oh, don't rip. Happy planner paper. Why are you ripping? It's a happy planner sticker. There you go. I think I saved it. Okay, so maybe here. I just won't do a big like box. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Okay. So let's see, that's how it's looking. Okay, so here would be another one. So I'm definitely going to skip all these. Um, is that looking straight? Yeah, it looks kind of straight. Oh, so I said kind of. So we have one kings, and then I'm going to put two kings. Uh, I wanted to keep it even. Should have thought about this a little bit more. I think it'll be fine right there. Two kings and then one chronicles. This is where it's probably going to get a little funky because I am not following the numbers. So we got four by six. Okay, so we got three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, maybe it won't get too funky. And then last one from that side. Perfect. Or, well, not so perfect, but you know what I mean. So I'll come back, show you what it looks like. But this is exactly what I'm thinking. Except I would have preferred this to be down a little bit but I wanted to keep it even so I'll be right back okay so now I'm back and so this is what it looks like so far and then what I'm going to do is tip this in keep going with the Old Testament and then by that time because um, there's still quite a few and then I'll put the New Testament It'll flip in, and then I can do either the names of the gods, or however you call it, and then use the back of this one. So let me go and tip this in, and I'll be right back again. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so what I'm doing here is leaving a gap. And you're going to see it sideways, of course, because that's how I'm going to have to be able to do it. So I'm just leaving a baby gap. Just where you can see a little bit of my desk and yet be able to fold the page. So what I'm doing is looking for the washi end and as we put this down hopefully I did it you know where it's able to be flipped over. So we're going to see right now, like that. 
And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Except for it already has its gap. And the reason I am doing this side is because when you have a gap, it'll still be sticky. So you just want to cover that part up is basically what I'm doing. And this is just like little arrows, green little arrows. So just like that. And that is how you can tip in any piece of paper or any little thing that you want to tip in have extra space because your paper is short. So when you close it, you just want to make sure that it is closed completely. But what I'm going to do is add another piece to here. So that when I go to close it, the paper don't buckle. And it probably will with that piece. So let me fix that little end right here. And that's all I'm doing is trimming this piece. But I just want to give it a little bit more stability. So I'm going to flip it. And probably come up with it. Or no, actually I'll just leave it like it is. This side doesn't need to be folded. Because the back side is what I'm worried about. So let me just make sure. And have you see it. And if you feel like on this side needs to be taken care of, then go ahead and put another piece. But that's basically what you're doing. You're making sure you have a crease. And yet, everything is clean. So there's that. That's a tip in for you. So just make sure that on one of the sides that's going to be folded has an extra piece of washi. So you're just making your band bigger. If you had a wider one like this, which you have room for, you wouldn't need to do that. You just have to fold that in half. Like you would have to crease in the middle of your wash. If that makes any sense to you. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Now that we're on this side. And that's all I took was this strip off. So when I close this, that's all you're going to see. Because if you leave this on is not going to close properly. Okay, so let's finish this up, which now I have to figure out how I want to do this. So it's here, right here, one, two, here, here. Okay, so it's one, two. So this is going to be a little bit differently because I use a little piece of washi that's going to interfere with the number five I was trying to count. So as long as this matches up, so now you need this for them, I'm all good. So now I'm going to put you on pause, finish the Old Testament, come back and show you the New Testament. Be right back. So now I'm back on here to show you what it looks like. I did have to like to stop the filming in order to fix something I had one of the books you know out of order but I fixed it hopefully please don't come for me as long as I feel like if I have all the books in here I'm okay but so this is the first page I did it in gold up to here and then you're gonna see silver from now on but that's how it looks so far and I'm not even done because I still have more books to put so I'm going to go ahead and put you back on like a little hold. And I may have to go ahead and put some more tape on this side because when you do fold it in, I'm starting to see my pages starting to separate because of the back side. So yeah, let's get to the back. This is getting to be exciting. Like I like this. I like how it's coming out. And did I start it? Which one? The first line. Okay. So yeah, I'll be right back. 
and technically you won't even see me missing it'll just keep going but I'm letting you know I stopped the video in order to finish this because it'll look funny like me saying okay let's go here and then flip it and then it's already full so I'll be right back okay so now I am again back to finish this off so we have one John I stopped at so now I'm gonna do two John and it does look a little longer and it's not even even but that's okay I'm okay with it. Three John. Jude. And Revelation. Okay, so that's how that looks. So I did put a cross there. I don't know if I want to put another one. Or if I should just put Jesus up there. Or just a fish. I think I'm going to leave it alone. But yeah, so that's how it's going to look and I hope you enjoyed this video it was fun let me just clean it so all I had left was just old stickers of course that doesn't have nothing to do with that but if you look at it these are the empty parts of the boxes and all I did was cut it out which I have one here all I did was cut it out peel it you just get it as close to the silver or gold whatever outline is there peel it and you have another sticker can you see that so you'll have another sticker by just peeling and I know it's not focusing by just peeling this up see and there you have it another sticker so you can utilize your stickers a bunch of times like you have one here and then cut it out and you have another same thing with these and if you make a mistake and you have the back piece to this which is this piece this white and you misspelled something you can just cover it up by just cutting a piece off as big as you wrote so yeah so there you have it um all i gotta do now is put in back the green another layer because again it's starting to come up and that's what you want to make sure you don't do so I'm just like pretty much putting it on top of the other one going down with it a little bit making sure that it has covered the part that's trying to come up flip it over and if you want it to you can just like give it in the middle and then just cut a spot like that now what you're going to have to do again is fold it just to make sure you're able to close it and there you have it so see i have extra access this is the time you could go in and cut there fold it good give it that good crease and there you have it the books of the bible and it wasn't that long to do it didn't take me long at all if i didn't mix a sticker up or need to diy a sticker i would have been a lot it wouldn't have taken long at all so there you have it Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. It was a lot of fun doing it though, because it's like you get to see what your work is going to look like. I still have to go in and when I show you the picture, you'll see it complete with the little squares. But other than that, it's done. Thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. And if you do this project... Put a hashtag planning with Maserati on Instagram or wherever you're going to post it. This will go on my Facebook group, which is Scripture Writing by Honey. But yeah, so if you can show me that you did it, you know, like if you choose to or, you know, whatever. But yeah, thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.